Greetings from Victory Churches here in the Philippines. God has been doing some amazing things this past year. Our Filipino pastors have caught the vision for church planting. You're about to see some reports from our Filipino pastors on the front lines who are forming church planting groups. We're believing God that this year we'll plant a minimum of five churches, maybe as many as eight or nine churches this year alone. And by 2020, we're looking at having 60 churches all throughout the Philippines through Victory Churches. Now watch your report here from our pastors here in the Philippines. I think in terms of accomplishments, we have three, I, I, can, I can say we have three major accomplishments for this year. One is we have sent a team in our church planting, uh, um, church planting in Aliago Nueva Ecija. Two, we have moved from our old place to this new place that we have today. And then three, I think from one service to three services that we have at the moment. In regards to our church planting in Aliaga Nueva Ecija, um, this has been in my heart since uh, last year, 2013, because uh, in that place is the, the relatives of my wife. So we, we, we launched out our first mission trip that was, I think, second week of May this year with, with 19 um, local missionaries from Victory Churches of Asia Northeast Caloocan. We've been there for one week distributing flyers and tracks, praying for the sick, and ended um, Thursday night with Bible study with those we have been uh, reached out during that week of mission. Same with Pastor Albert of VCA Neck. Pastor Ezekiel has the passion for growth, which resulted in a move that would cause radical exponential growth. In the area of evangelism, many souls came to know Christ this year through our ministry of evangelism, uh, campuses, evangelistic Bible studies. We also started a pioneering work for church planting in Santa Maria and North Sagaray. I am so happy with the outcome of our cell groupings. We are able to connect almost 400 people in our cell groups and also we started we added one sunday service this year our 12 p.m service because our 10 a.m service is, is full so we started one additional service one obvious effect of our move to our new place right now was that we triple because before we move we only have 250 members and now we are close to 900 in just two years move we, from 250 to almost 900 attendees. Next year around June, they are planning to launch VCA Santa Maria, which will be led by Brother Alvin and Sister Virgie Abogado. We are doing right now the house-to-house -house evangelism and it opened up seven Bible study also next year, another Victory Church under VCA CSJDM is about to be launched, led by Brother Arnold and Gilda Lassin. VCA North Sagarai is praying for a specific building that would cater to large crowd as they start right the work now we in have every town. Uh, six ongoing Bible studies. We have one jail ministry, two campus ministry, and we have two groups of uh, kids. Major uh, accomplishment this year is in his, in VCA Academy we have uh, 69 students enrolled. The attendance of uh, morning service I think 80 to 120 every Sunday, and in uh, in the afternoon service we have uh, 40 attendants. Pastor James and his wife had done a tremendous job mobilizing the people in their church, training them how to preach and lead worship. Next year, they are planning to do church planting in a near town called Baliwag. 
Pastor Lito Gabino, who was raised up in local missions, now handles a beautiful church that is doing a wonderful services. job in reaching Every out to areas around their church. This year, we Next year, they are planning to start two in, new churches. Uh, two now, let's hear more testimonies with, uh, of goodness six from volunteer him. Teachers. Mobile School is one of our tools for evangelism to reach out, start with the children and next to their parents and the whole community. Now, preparation for new VC Church, having uh, three Bible study in Mindoro Province, southern part of Luzon area for uh, church planting next year 2015 and three Bible study in Marilao City, northern part of Luzon for another church planting next year, 2015. Next year, we can accomplish two more shirts of VCA Philippines. So I've been going to Cabanatuan at least every other month to visit some of our works there. We have some churches around Cabanatuan and also in Cabanatuan. While I'm going there, I always have this burden for people. And also, I saw that the place is really growing so much. So we started going there. I, I took a team from our Bible school students. I took a team and bring them there in Cabanatuan. We did lots of prayer work. In the afternoon, we prayed. and. Uh, the outpouring of the Holy Spirit is so much. Hopefully we can officially start the preparation uh, by February or March. And then we'll have the grand opening probably like October or November. So, yeah, 2015. Thank you for your prayers and even your support, financial support to help us to bring this, bring this to reality. That the dream that God had put in our hearts. God bless you. Thank you.